Hey guys, Andrew here. I want to tell window cleaning stories. This story is about subcontractor work. So around the winter time, work gets pretty slow. And so I know about eight window cleaners that I can ask them, do you guys have any available work that you need help with? And they'll hire me for, you know, 20 bucks an hour. And when I start out window cleaning for somebody else six or seven years ago, I got paid $10 an hour. Then when I got better, I got paid 12. I got better, I got paid 15. And my ending pay was $20 an hour, which I think is pretty reasonable. But by myself, I make $70 an hour cleaning windows. But I know I'm not gonna get $70 an hour working underneath another window cleaner. So I'm happy with 20 to $25 an hour. I think that's reasonable. I don't have to be supervised. I know what I'm doing. Polite to customers. I have my own tools. I'm the real deal. I know what I'm doing. I'm very, very quick, very efficient. So uh, I posted online. Anybody need any you know, extra help in my eight or so window cleaning friends say, yeah, man, come on Wednesday. This other one said, come on Thursday. Then this last guy, I think his name was Nick. He said, yeah, dude, uh, I, I'm looking for a partner for my, my, my window cleaning business. I said, a partner? Yeah, yeah, we can clean windows together. We can knock out one house after the other. I said, awesome, that sounds really cool. Yeah, so I, I drive down really early in the morning, 40 miles away from my house to go meet with him. And I don't mention money at all, which is my mistake. I did not mention how much I wanted to get paid. And we do three houses back to back to back, gigantic homes. And I saw how much he was getting paid. The client left the check on the island and I looked at, oh wow, $500, $500 right? I mean, hey man, here's the check. I hand him the check. Do the next house. Lady gives me the check. I go, oh no, I'm not the owner here. I look at the check, I give it to the owner. Um, and then the, the last house, again, I'm assuming it's the same size, probably around the same 400, 500 bucks for the house. So this guy made $1,400 that day cleaning windows. And I'm thinking, you know, I only want 200. We worked eight hours, 20 bucks an hour, let's say 25 an hour. All I want is 200 bucks and I'll be happy. I understand this guy has a business and I'm not going to take all the money out of his hands. I want to be a nice guy. So at the end of the day, he walks up to me. He goes, so uh, uh, how much were you uh, looking to get paid? And I said, well, I understand it's your business. You know, I make $70 an hour by myself. I understand you can't do that. So I'm thinking $25 an hour for what I did today because you didn't have to supervise me. You know, I know what I'm doing. I'm very efficient. I'm like a second version of you. And before I can finish my sentence, he laughs. <laughs> Dude, I pay my window technicians, whatever that means, window tech. I pay my window techs $12.50 an hour. <laughs> what, $12.50 an hour? Are you kidding me? I'm not taking $12.50 an hour. Dude, no, no. I'm, uh, you're, I'm gonna get 150 bucks. And he goes, dude, we we, uh, we didn't discuss payment. I'm like, I assume when you said partner, you meant that I'm going to get a good piece of the pie, you know, 30%, 40%. I want to be nice and just ask for 200 because I know you're trying to grow your business. But $12.50 an hour to have a person who's a second version of you who you don't have to supervise, th that's ridiculous. That's just selfishness, All right? I worked for other window cleaners in the past that I was better than them. I can squeegee fast. I have more tools than they do. And still, I only asked for $20 an hour working for them. I could command a whole crew of people. All I demand is $20 an hour. But we did three gigantic homes. And I know he made at least $1,400, maybe even $1,500 that day. And so I told him, I want $200. Bucks. He ended up paying me $150. That's the least that I would sell for is $150 for eight hours worth of work, which I think is still generous and nice of me. But I made a mistake of not talking about money when it comes to subcontract work. If I'm going to be subcontracted by another company, I want to be paid well. You got to talk about money beforehand. That's the mistake I made. Hope you guys learned from it. Take care. Hope you enjoyed my video.